Let's evaluate this integral. But before doing that, let's just take a look at it and ask ourselves, what's causing me the problem here? For me personally, I look at that root x and I'm not happy with it. But I think I can use it. Now, when I look at that root x and I have that root x in the denominator as well, I can draw a relationship. I can do a substitution and that could help me eliminate it. How? Well, let's say, let's say my variable t is going to be my substitution variable because I don't want to use u. I'll say that t is equal to root x and so the derivative of it is going to be 1 over 2 root x because that's just the derivative of root x, right? And if I multiply by 2 on both sides, then I have 1 over root x dx is equal to 2 dt. And that 1 over root x dx is exactly what I have in here. So now I can rewrite this integral in terms of the variable t. So taking out that 2, I'll have the integral of arctan of t dt. Now this is relatively easy to solve, and I've actually already done um, an, a video on how to integrate arctan of x. You could watch it because it's more, much more detailed than what I'm about to explain. But if you have watched that video and if you recognize this integral, then you'd know that the way to solve this would be a simple use, or sorry, simple integration by parts. Maybe not simple, but you know, integration by parts. So let's start. First, let's define my u. My u is going to be arctan of t. And so my du is going to be the derivative of this, which is something you might have memorized, which is 1 over 1 plus t squared dt. And then my dv is going to be what's left in that integral, so dt. And if I do the integral of dt, I will get that v is going to be equal to t. <laughs> and now I just plug everything into the integration by parts formula. So I have t by u, which is t arctan of t minus the integral of t du, sorry, v, v du, which is t over 1 plus t squared dt. Also, I had a 2 multiplied by this whole integral, so let me not forget that. Now have it here. So to solve this little portion here, you might tell straight away that this is another substitution because I have something and it's derivative. So... Let's do another substitution. I'll choose another variable again. <laughs> Let's say this time w is going to be equal to 1 plus t squared. And dw is going to be the derivative of that, which is 2t dt. And now I, I'll just divide by 2 on both sides so that 1 half dw is equal to, two, is equal to t dt. So let's write that in here, 2t arctan of t minus that 2 is out there. And because I have a factor of 1 half, it's just a constant, I will pull that out too. And now with rewriting this in terms of the variable w, I have 1 over w dw. And so notice how nicely these 2 and 1 half cancel each other out. And then the integral of 1 over w is pretty straightforward. It's just going to be the natural log, right? So again, writing everything, that's probably the most annoying part of this, honestly. Arctan of t minus the natural log of w plus the arbitrary constant c, because we're officially done with integrating. However, and I actually might take my comment back, this is the most annoying part probably, because if you forget this, then, you know, you kind of messed up. You need to go back and rewrite everything in terms of your original variable that you started with, which is x. So let's retrace our step. Let's walk backwards. So first we said, let's start with that w because that's the last thing we did. The w we said is 1 plus t squared. And then before that, we said that t is equal to root x. So then finally... 2 arctan, 
I forgot to put a T in here. My bad. Okay, whoops. T in here. <laughs> and so then it's 2 root x times arctan root x minus the natural log of w, which is 1 plus t squared, which is 1 plus x, because the square, the that square and the root cancel each other, right? Plus the arbitrary constant c. And that's it.